On the bench I have a Kenwood TS430S transceiver. Uh, so this is a radio that I did a full uh, restoration on uh, almost three years ago. Uh, and the uh, radio has pretty much worked faultlessly uh, since then. Uh, but just recently I've noticed uh, some receiver desensitivity. And this was one of the issues covered in the restoration. Um, what we found is the um, relays that switch in the various receiver filter groups uh, were uh, oxidized and creating a high resistance path and uh, it was attenuating the signal. Uh, so in that instance the radio was completely stripped down and the relays opened up and the contacts were cleaned with uh, some uh, glossy paper and uh, some contact cleaner. And uh, that was pretty successful. Uh, like I say, the radios worked pretty much faultlessly since then. But uh, I have recently noticed that um, uh, at least 40 meters and the 30 meter band have become uh, desensitized again. So uh, we'll just turn the radio on. So it, it's just got a wire on it at the moment. So we're just picking up some uh, random noise. And so this is 80 meters and uh, sounds reasonably healthy. And then 40, uh, the uh, signals die. Tens a little better. And then 20 meters seems to be quite sensitive. And the rest of the bands, as we get up higher, the bands are a bit quieter anyway. Low frequency, 80 meters, 40 meters, very quiet. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the um, ohm meter from the uh, center pin of the coaxial cable connector to ground and that will measure the res resistance of the uh, relay contacts. There are some inductors in this circuit so it won't be uh, completely zero um, but uh, we should be able to see some resistance. Okay, so we've got the uh, ohm meter there and it's showing uh, 6.4 ohms. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's good or bad. Um, this is on the 40 meter band going up to 30 meters. We're getting about 7 ohms. 20 meters seem to drop back a bit through the rest of the band, sort of sitting around 5.96. Low frequency 5.7, 80 meters 5.8, 40 meters. Yeah, it seems a little unstable and it's on occasions quite high. So uh, so um, what I'm going to try is a uh, technique that was uh, suggested to me um, after I did the restoration, which is a way of cleaning the oxide off the relays is to um, apply 12 volts through the center pin of the um, radio's uh, uh, coaxial connector uh, to ground um, and this is done through there's a not a hard and fast rule I've got a 28 ohm resistor so that will uh, limit the current and uh, so the resistor will be in series with a 12 volt supply now I'm going to have a separate supply for this particular exercise, uh, you can use the same power supply. Um, so we're going to set that up now. This is the lead I've made up. Uh, so we've got uh, two 56 ohm uh, resistors. These are wire wound, so uh, not really an issue for DC. And uh, they're reasonably high wattage. Um, so uh, the heating won't be a problem. Okay, uh, we're going to uh, conduct this procedure. Let me just turn the radio around just to uh, show what's going on. So uh, we've got the uh, resistor 
in line with the uh, amp meter and the centre core yeah. I'm trying to get as good electrical contact as possible and the other side the ground there's our 12 volt supply here in series through the meter measuring milliamps We're now connecting the 12 volt supply. Measuring about 400 milliamps. So now we just let it uh, cycle through the uh, various uh, radio bands And we do this for uh, a couple of minutes. Moving up. So the band so far are recording uh, and you see that? 382 odd uh, milliamps. And we're getting a consistent current draw as we go through all the band groups. Now if there was any higher resistance, we would see a uh, drop in the current flow. But it's looking fairly consistent. Could have dropped a little bit in the higher bands because the uh, inductor um, may have some more internal resistance. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to cycle through these one more time. Uh, with the receiver uh, filter contact relay uh, cleaning technique uh, completed, the uh, radio is back in service with the antenna connected and the 40 meter band which was the uh, problematic band is now fully sensitive not much on the uh, band at this time um, but as a uh, non-invasive um, repair technique uh, for um, receiver desensitivity caused by uh, relay oxidization uh, this is a fairly successful um, non-invasive um, approach so quite happy with the uh, results of that now I don't know that this applies to uh, every radio model I suspect uh, the uh, TS430 and maybe radios of a similar design it's quite a reasonable approach uh, but I uh, need to uh, study the uh, schematic to uh, see whether this is uh, applies to uh, other radios but there we have it. the um, radio is now back in service and um, with uh, very little effort. Thank you for watching.